open the service in the name of the Creator. In the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Please bow your head and pray with me. Lord, thank you for bringing us here today to worship your name. Give us strength to confide in you and continue to live out your word. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Chugga, 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 clap, clap, and roll, and roll. Chugga, 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 clap, clap, and roll, and roll. Do you know he's a radical guy? Do you know he's a radical guy? His name is peace, peace. His name is love, love. And he left his heavens above. A reading from Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 7 and 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in God. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Here ends the reading. All right, everyone. So our theme for this week is trusting in God's promises, even when it's hard to trust in the people and the things around us. So I don't know about you guys, but this year has looked a little different than I thought it might. The things that I trusted to happen, things like going swimming, hanging out with friends, or spending time at camp in person, haven't happened in the way that I thought that they might. And for me, and maybe for you, that's a little bit frustrating. Because you weren't able to go to that wedding you were looking forward to or experience graduation in the way that you thought you would. Maybe you weren't able to spend time with your friends in school. And like me, maybe many of you wish that you could be listening to this worship on site, out at the Child of God worship site with the trees all around you, the wind blowing through your hair, 
hearing the leaves and the birds and feeling the sun. And maybe that's a little frustrating, but here we are in this weird and strange year. And maybe losing some of these things has made it hard for us to trust in the people and the things that are around us. Maybe it's hard. But one thing that we can always trust in is God. We can trust that God has a plan for us. He has a plan for you. He has a plan for me, for our friends, family, the counselors. God is there. And even in our hardest and darkest moments, when it's hard for us to trust, God is there. So this week in Bible study, you guys will be looking at the story of Joseph and you'll see that Joseph, he doesn't have real reason to trust in a lot of the people around him. And bad things kind of seem to follow him everywhere. But in the end, God shows Joseph that he can trust in God. So our verse for today talks about a tree. So how many of you guys have seen a really big tree before? Maybe it's Big Bertha at Briarwood, or maybe, maybe you were lucky enough to go to the Redwood Forest and see one of those huge, huge trees. Now, those giant trees, it takes a lot of time and sunlight and water and energy for those trees to grow as big as they do. Now, the parts of the tree, you have the leaves up top collecting the sunlight you have the middle part of the tree and then you have the roots and the roots go underground and they search out for nutrients and water and they collect them and they bring them back to the tree. Now, in our Bible verse, it talks about a tree. And if you have a tree that isn't getting any rainwater, that there's no water coming down through the dirt and collecting in through the roots, that might be really hard. It might be hard for the tree to grow and to live. But God compares faith and trust in God, kind of like a tree by a river. Even without rain, even in the biggest drought, that tree can always get water. And it will have a never ending source of it so that it can live. So when we trust in God, when we are faithful to God, we are like a tree by a river. We have a never ending source of life. And God gives that to us freely. So right now we are in a drought, a drought that feels like it'll never end of things changing and adjusting and looking different than we thought that it would and making it hard for us to trust. But no matter how long this drought lasts, we know that we will always live in God because we have that connection via our roots. So utilize that, reach out, reach out to friends and to family, reach out to God, trust in him and know that he has a plan for you, no matter what.
offering. However, instead of a traditional church offering you may be used to, instead we would like you to share with us where you have seen God this week. Please feel free to share on our Flipgrid page. We will have a link in the description of this video. Um, you can record a short video just telling us about where you've seen God this week, and then feel free to watch other people's videos and share and respond to them. giving us this time and space in worship together. Thank you for letting us sing and pray and share in this community with one another. Dear Lord, please help us to trust in you and know that even in these difficult times, you have a plan for each and every one of us. Help us to go out into this week looking for ways to trust in you and to help one another. In your name we pray. Amen. By the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. Bright, I will bear my light to them. I shall 
my people's pain. I have wept for love of them. They turn away. I will break their hearts of stone. Give them hearts for love alone. serve the Lord. Thanks be to God and we will.